Speaking of brides and weddings and all that good stuff, friend of the show and advice columnist Snarky in the City is joining us today because, you know, we like to gossip. <laughs> and she received a letter that we just could not pass up on, okay? Hi, Snarky. I, I, know, I know that you've been uh, getting some letters from a bride, and I hear that we have one on our hands today that's a little unruly. Is that right? Well, not unruly. I just think some people have a problem when they give a gift. They still think they kind of have ownership of the gift. And this is kind of what that letter talks about. Absolutely. So. I totally agree. So you got to tell us, what is your writer saying? Okay, here is the letter. Dear Snarky, my greedy bridesmaids have really hurt my feelings. I had a beautiful wedding in February. And because I didn't want to be a bridezilla, I paid for each bridesmaid's dress. It was my thank you gift to them being in my wedding. Last week, my mother was doing some online shopping and found all eight bridesmaids dresses posted their dresses on a bride retail site. I sent out a group text telling all of them that they were ungrateful and tacky for selling their bridesmaids dresses. And since I paid for the dresses, they needed to send me any money they make. My maid of honor tried to justify what they did and said that it was a group decision and the reason they listed the dresses together was because it's easier to sell them that way, but no way did they want to hurt my feelings. That just made me more mad and I sent out more texts and it all kind of blew up. I want to send them each a bill for their bridesmaids dress, but my husband says to let it go. I don't think I can because I don't feel like what I'm doing is wrong. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah yes that is a bitter bride <laughs> yeah very yeah very much a bitter bride and you know like i said you her issue is and i i i can see a little bit that she gave them these dresses and she's emotionally attached to anything from her wedding but guess what no one else is and so this is my response dear bitter bride listen to your new husband because you are all kinds of wrong you said the bridesmaids dresses were a gift once you give a gift, you no longer have control over how it's used. Your bridesmaids are free to do what they want with a gift, even if it includes selling their dresses. I'm also sure your bridesmaids accrued major expenses being in the wedding, from shower gifts to throwing you a bachelorette party, selling a dress, and trust me, that they're never going to wear again could be a way to recoup some of that money. Now, I understand you feeling a little disappointed that your friends aren't going to hold their dresses as a special memento of your day, but it was your day, not theirs, and they don't have the same emotional attachment to the bridesmaid's dress. What you need to do is hop back up on that group text and profusely apologize for freaking out. If I were you, I would blame wedding exhaustion made you crazy. You then need to work on repairing your friendships with these women. That meant so much to you that you asked them to be in your wedding. Trust me, hear this. No dress drama is worth losing eight girlfriends over. You need to make it right. Tell them that you are sorry. And now, if I could talk to your mother for a minute, she, <laughs> if she saw the dresses for sale, should have just kept on scrolling. Because you know what your mom is? A pot stirrer. So Ooh. if you want to tell her that from me, that'd be great. I mean, the oh, mom, she yes. would never have known if the mom just hadn't gotten in there and, you know, stirred it all up. <laughs> But yes, bringing the mamas again, into the mix. <laughs> yeah, just let it go. And I've done that. Like, I've given my daughter something. I'm like, you never wear that bracelet I gave you. No, it was a gift. I Stop know. I guilt. totally agree. Go. Yeah, this you got to let it go. Because like you said, that was such a good point. We're going to accrue so many charges when you accept being in someone's wedding <laughs> that any kind of way you can make a, a dime back. I don't blame Damn. you. Like, I saw a study that to be in a wedding... In 2023, if you're a bridesmaid, it's like $5,000. That's like crazy. That is. So crazy. Oh my God. And another wonderful point that you made is we are adults. It's not very easy to replace eight friends. <laughs> Hold on oh to them God. ladies as, as tight as you can. <laughs> can you imagine? It is like when you're older, it's hard to make friends and it's hard to hang on to friends. So eight friends, I don't think I have eight friends. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like close enough friends like that. I would just not like, you know, just toss them aside because 
I'm angry at him for their bridesmaids dresses. Yeah, it's definitely not worth it at all. I we just had a, a guest here talking about how how uh, difficult it can be to make friends at our age, getting older. But I yeah. I, I thank you so much, Snarky, for being here. Uh, I think that you gave the me. appropriate uh, advice to your reader, and I can't wait to see another letter from you. You got to join us again. Okay, thanks. Yes, make sure you send your letters to snarkyinthesuburbs.com.